for a long time, people talk about why moon shows only one side, and there are several wrong theories around in the internet. Uh, let's consider this using the basic physics. The basics, um, the college physics you learned. What, how many freedoms of motions for um, rigid body? Six, six degrees of freedom, right? The three degrees for the parallel motion. Parallel motion is the motion of center of gravity. Rigid body is represented by the point mass at the center of gravity, and it can move x, y, z. That's uh, three uh, degrees of freedom. Okay. Now, rigid body has three more degree of freedom in a motion. They are rotation or spin around x axis or y axis or z axis. Okay. But this coordinate is at the center of gravity. So the rotation of the rigid body is rotating around the center of gravity. So we need to know where the center of gravity in order to analyze the motion of the moon. Okay, so moon is orbiting around the earth and it's spinning, rotating every 27.5 days. Okay, the, when the rigid bodies spin, there are two possibilities. It's spin by the angular acceleration or it's spin at the constant angular speed. Suppose moon is just spinning at the 27.5 days uh, once every 27.5 days. Okay. The, if constant speed, there is a minor difference between this and orbital frequency. Okay, the so slight change is going to make a deviation and we gradually start seeing the far side of the moon over a thousand years. Okay, that's not the case. That means there is an angular acceleration acting on it to correct the orientation of the moon all the time. Okay, so where this angular acceleration come from? That the clue is where the center of gravity is. Okay. Now, the suppose moon is not uniform. The far far side is heavier and front side is lighter. So center of gravity located here is eccentric location. Now what's happened is you divide the moon by center of gravity plane, then it's going to divide the weight equally, m over 2. Okay? Now we need the distribution of this uh, density so that we can do uh, integration to calculate, see what kind of angular accelerations is going to have when you have a gravity acting on this direction. But we can simplify the model. The, since the lighter side is spread, so center of gravity of the left side is L1. Center of gravity of right side is L2. Obviously L1 is larger than L2. So angular acceleration is caused by torque. And if you consider the torque, torque is L1 times M over 2. Uh, the right side is L2 times M over 2. So there is a difference in a torque. So which one is larger? Of course, this side. So this one calls the moon to spin this direction and 
heavy side becomes a far side and lighter side become near side and that's the that's the reason why okay uh, you can see better that's the reason why the moon is always adjusted to show only light side because center of gravity is on the heavy side at the far side okay so this is a correct way to understand why moon is facing only one side there are wrong theories around like a tidal rock locking or uh, center of gravity on the, the earth side and those uh, there are many things uh, you see in the internet they're all wrong the tidal locking theory came out when they didn't know that the moon's uh, gravity center of gravity is eccentric once you know center of gravity is not in the middle then it's easy to understand why the, it shows only one side well of course if there is an initial spin given to the moon it keep rotating against the center of uh, the the torque difference okay but it's gradually stop because every time you get more angular acceleration so it's a fair guess that moon was spinning uh, in ancient times but it slowly slow down and lock into the current position okay so I hope you enjoyed listening this videos and please check other videos thank you for listening